Hi there, I'm Jeremy from Synadia. And in this new series, we're going to give you an overview of all of the features inside of Synadia Cloud and Synadia Platform. So if you're looking um, or evaluating products like Synadia Cloud to kind of manage your NAT servers a little bit better, this is gonna be the video series for you. And what I'll do is I'll use this video as an outline for all of the features and link all of the uh, kind of deep dives into all of these features as we go. And so you kind of use this as a jumping off point as we learn how Synadia Cloud and Synadia Platform work. All right, so let's get straight into it. When you first sign up for Synadia Cloud, you're going to be taken to a page that looks like this, where it lists your systems. Now, systems could be a NATS server or a cluster of NATS servers, or even in our case, a NATS super cluster. Um, we have one system here, and this one's going to be the default for you if you're signing up for Synadia Cloud, um, NGS, which is our global NATS system that we host here at Synadia. Um, so you don't even have to set up your own NATS server yourself. But if you do, you can go ahead and add a NAT system. Maybe you have a custom one on-prem or in your own cloud and you want to import it and have Synadia Cloud or Synadia Platform manage that for you. You can go ahead and import your system. And if you want to kind of know more details about how the uh, system import works, you can check out this video here. All right, now that we have a system to click into, you can now see that we can go into the various accounts for that system. And the accounts are essentially tenants inside of this system. So maybe you're setting up a uh, system or signing on to Synadia Cloud or NGS for your particular organization and you want to uh, have multiple tenants inside of that organization, maybe multiple teams. This is where you can create accounts and allocate various resources for them. Now, inside of Synadia Cloud, when you're using NGS, uh, your plan kind of dictates how many resources you have um, for various things and upgrading your plan gives you more resources. Now, the way this works with accounts is when you create an account, you essentially allocate a certain amount of resources to them out of that pool. And this way you can have flexibility with how many accounts you have. Um, you don't have to necessarily you know, pay all of this extra money for, for certain accounts. You can just kind of create accounts and, and add resources as you need them. Um, we, we think this is a really flexible system, but it requires a little bit of you know, upfront planning to, to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and click into a, an account and um, figure out all of these pieces. And like I said, we'll walk through some of these on a very high level and then you can kind of uh, look at the videos that we link to dive deeper into each of these features. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my Widget Co. account right here. And this is where you're going to be spending most of your time inside of Synadia Cloud. You're going to see that we have an overview here that gives you kind of a metrics overview of your particular account. Um, and I can go up here to the top right and I can kind of, you know, figure out what uh, what kind of uh, time scale I want to look at this. So I can see, you know, the last five minutes, um, what, you know, my high level metrics were, or maybe I want to go back to the last hour or maybe even the last six hours to see, you know, maybe there's some spikes here by, uh, you know, my, my application sending more data than, um, than I was expecting. And so you can use this as a high level overview just to check in and see what your usage looks like on a per account level um, and, and use your metrics there. Then over on the connections tab, we have the uh, connection graph. And the connection graph is really useful for being able to kind of look at all of the connections that are currently live in your account, as well as older, already closed connections. This can be very useful for debugging things or even just kind of getting a high level overview of where things are at. If you want to dive deeper into the connection graph and how to use it, check out this video here. Next up, we have our Jetstream management. This is where you're going to see all of your Jetstream assets, AKA your streams, key value stores, object stores, and the consumers for all of those streams. Um, you can easily create streams or mirrors, KV stores, and object buckets um, through this button here. And you can also see kind of the usage for your account and how uh, much of your capacity you are taking up with these streams. Not only that, but you can manage each of these streams individually, their settings, their consumers, as well as uh, monitor them, um, and even look at live messages coming into those streams. So if you want a deep dive into Jetstream, you could check out this video here. Next up, we have the Users tab. In NAT, users are ways of being able to mint credentials for your particular clients. So if a client needs to connect into your system securely, you're going to use a user credential for that. And so the users tab is where you're going to manage all of those users by creating new users, by being able to click into them, um, check them out, 
uh, look at their connections, change any of their settings, et cetera, et cetera. We also have a pretty advanced grouping feature where we use signing keys to mint these users and you can have more advanced control over things like rotating keys um, and more. So if you're interested in going into a deep dive around users, check out this video here. Lastly, we have really great sharing features. And this is specifically when you have multiple accounts inside of a NATS system and you'd like to share things like streams, um, particular subject feeds, uh, microservices between the various accounts in a secure way. You do this via imports and exports for NATS. And this sharing tab facilitates all of the imports and exports for you so you can easily share your streams and services between all of your accounts. This is great when you have a multi-tenant setup, maybe multiple teams inside of your organization, or even customers um, that you want to be able to interface with on a single system. You can do, um, you can do a lot of really amazing things with imports and exports. So if you want an in-depth guide on how to use uh, the sharing tab, go ahead and watch this video here. And that's kind of a high level overview of the account settings. We do have things like alert rules, we have access. And so if you want to look into how to better manage your team or better give access or how our access rules work in general, you can go ahead and watch this video here. Um, just to kind of round things off, we also have some miscellaneous things. Like, um, you probably didn't know this, but Sanita Cloud has a full uh, REST API that you can access and mint keys for. And so you can actually look at all the various um, calls. And the, the UI inside of Sanita Cloud actually uses um, all of this REST API. And so if you want to do any sort of scripting or automation against Sanita Cloud or Sanita Platform, you can do so uh, via the REST API. And so if you want a more in-depth video of how to use this REST API, go ahead and watch this one here. And that about wraps it up for us. Um, if you're interested in Synadia Cloud, go ahead and sign up via the link below. Or if you're interested in running your own Synadia Cloud, um, you can do that with our Synadia platform. We have lots of options, whether you want to um, you know, host your own system or have your system hosted for you by Synadia, whether you want to be a part of a global network or one that's just your own, or you even want to put your things on-prem or out to the edge. Synadia Cloud and Synadia Platform are really, really really good solutions for managing NATS at scale inside of your organization. So uh, go ahead and try this out via the link below and be sure to visit any of the videos that I linked during this one. And I'll see you in the next one.